Hi guys, this is Kevin from Slicepeak speaking and today I want to walk you through our Zapier integration and what you can achieve uh, by using it together with uh, Slicepeak. Together with the Zapier integration you can easily create presentations in an automated way uh, without knowing any coding, which is super handy because uh, that way you can automatically pull data from certain sources like let's say something gets added to a Google Sheet or a Notion page and then automatically generate a presentation from it, save it to a Google Drive, for example. What I'm going to walk you through today is a workflow where a user can add something to a Google Sheet and then based on the information in the Google Sheet, we automatically generate a presentation using Slidespeak and that presentation is then uploaded to Google Drive. So let's dig into it. As you can see here already, um, this is uh, the workflow, but uh, don't worry about it. I'm going to walk you through step by step in a second. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to go to the home screen of uh, Zapier. Um, I'm assuming that you're already logged in here. And what you can do then is you can simply click on create and then create a new zap. As a trigger, we are going to select um, in the very first step um, Google Sheets since we kind of want to use that as like the data source for our presentation. So we kind of want to pull the data out of a Google Sheet. Um, I have prepared something here, um, which literally just it contains topics. So this can be anything like very broad topics or uh, even like a very detailed instructions of what the presentation should contain. Uh, let's go back to Zapier real quick. So yeah, we're going to start with um, Google Sheets here as a, as a trigger. Just going to move that out of the way. And then um, you can add the specific trigger event that will be a new row in the spreadsheet. So new spreadsheet row. You have to connect your, your Google account in order to like make this integration available. Uh, I've already done that, so we can kind of skip, skip this step. Um, and then you pretty much have to select which spreadsheet to pull it from. Um, in my Google Drive, there is already one, which is called Presentation Topics. Then you have to select which uh, worksheet um, you want to pull the data from, which is called Presentation Topics. Um, just to go back, back to the, the Google Sheet real quick here, as you can see here, those are the topics, and the worksheet is called Presentation Topics. In Zapier, then you can click Continue. And then you can run uh, a quick test if, if everything is set up pro properly. We are going to go ahead and do that real quick. And as you can see, it's already uh, pulled in some of the data. So if you click on it, you can see here one of the top topics was kangaroos in Australia. Um, yeah, all that will work. So you can just uh, click on continue with the selected record. And then as the next step, obviously, we want to take that topic and push it into Slidespeak to create a presentation from it. So we're just going to search for Slidespeak here. Um, click on it and then as the event will uh, select generate presentation so this will allow you to create the presentation from the topic in the Google sheet using AI directly let's confirm that by clicking here on continue and then uh, obviously we have to kind of specify uh, for the for the Slidespeak API what field we're gonna map that on so it's going to be the topics field that we've uh, had in the in the Google spreadsheet. So just confirm by clicking on that. And then we can specify also how many slides we want in, in that presentation. So uh, let's just do uh, five for now um, and a theme. So Slidespeak supports different themes. Um, we're just going to go with the default theme for now. Confirm that with um, continue and then you can test that as well. Um, that should work pretty straightforward and you should get, um, yeah. So that has worked and now you can click on uh, publish to publish that zap. So there will be two steps that we will have to set up. The first step is the one to actually create the presentation and the second one will be to kind of like take the presentation and then upload it to Google Drive. So we've already created the first zap that kind of like triggers the generation of the presentation. So what we want to do now is, um, based on that, we want to take the presentation in another zap and then store it to Google Drive. What we're going to do that here is create the second zap. Click here, click on zaps. 
and then the trigger will be actually the slide speak trigger since it will trigger whenever the presentation is ready and then the action that we're going to take is save that to Google Drive for example so we're going to go Google Drive here um, as the event in Google Drive we will select create no sorry it's um, upload file then click on continue uh, select your Google Drive account, so all this should be pretty straightforward. And then we're going to select a folder in, in my Google Drive. There is one called Presentations. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So this is the Google Drive folder. Um, we can actually delete what's, what's already in here, so it's like empty. And then we're going to select File. This will be coming from SlideSpeak. Ah, so we have to first select here. Um, yeah, new presentation. I can continue, it, it can test the trigger, and then in the Google Drive configuration, uh, now we're back here, you should be able to click here on, on, on that plus icon and then the new presentation URL will, will, will pop up here, so simply click on that, and then you need to select true here in order to convert the URL to a file in Google Drive. The other two fi file fields here, you can you can leave that empty. Turn it true. Um, test the step. Um, this will just be so you you can see that everything works. Um, so if we go in here, this, this should now. If we do a refresh, file should show up here now. Yeah, perfect. So this is the file. Uh, we can now actually go ahead delete this since this was just a test. Um, but if we go back into into the, the zap, um, let's go back in here, um, then we can publish that flow as well. So now it's publishing the second zap. Um, done. So now we pretty much have everything set up. So what uh, this no-code workflow will now do is we will take a topic from a presentation in Google Sheets create a presentation from it, and then when the presentation is generated, upload it to like a Google Drive. So let's see if that actually works. Um, as our, our starting point, we kind of want to go in here, and yeah, now we can do, as a topic, we can do Tesla revenue of 2010 to 2020. Hit enter, and uh, this should now trigger uh, the presentation creation workflow through through slide speak yep and as you can see here now this has created a presentation within our Google Drive so we can go ahead now and open this one um, and it has created this beautiful presentation for us um, with a bunch of revenue trends from 2020 10 uh, from 2010 to 2020 Conti concludes like the the most important statistics here revenue numbers and so on and so forth and this is actually really, really interesting. So you can go ahead and use this presentation now in, in other workflows. And that's pretty much it. This is how you create a very automated workflow uh, using Zapier and the SlideSpeak API. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to make more tutorials uh, about those no-code integrations. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.